if you are watching this, you are part of my cell fam. Well, I should say that if you're watching this and you're resonating, resonating with me, then you are part of my cell fam. However, I have experienced that just because you don't resonate with someone right away, like you're absolutely like judging them or, or repulsed by them, they could be your cell fam too. And there's just something to let go within yourself um, so that you can be open to receive that connection. Guess who's back on YouTube? This person, this person. <laughs> Hi, welcome or welcome back. If you have been to my channel before, I am Ro and I have really been setting the intention for 2023 to be of service through this YouTube channel, through consistent videos that feel aligned with me and my energy so I can share them with you. I have really been excited to just get all these ideas together and to really compile them in a list so that I can allow myself to choose which one feels good for me and also listen to what you want to learn more about. And that's why I'm making this first video. I had a beautiful person from my soul family ask how to create a soul family. And so if you are watching this, I thank you and I honor you for your time and your energy and for wanting to learn more about this topic because this is a topic that is really dear to my heart because I used to be somebody who really just didn't feel understood. I felt lonely. I felt like I felt like I didn't have a family, really. I grew up in a family where I felt like I wasn't in a family because there was just a lot that was happening that wasn't aligning with myself and wasn't to what I wanted to live out in my life. So I am super excited to share that whenever I allow myself to align with what feels good, I am able to create these videos for you and to share what I have learned and also the experiences that have taught me a lot of lessons and wisdom along the way. And first things first is that I don't really believe in labels as much anymore. Um, although I believe in soul fam, it's something that I don't get too attached to. And as with any label, like boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, I have just really been practicing the art of non-attachment <laughs> and really allowing myself to come from a recognition that yes, we're humans, we need words and labels to distinguish things and understand things in our life, um, but to really understand also that it goes more than just words, it's, it's really an energetic level and a soul level and that's why I love, I love talking about soul fans. And when it comes to attracting and creating your soul fam, I just wanted to start off with a story first. I used to have, well, I, I still do. I have thousands of friends and not to say that to like brag, but I had thousands of friends, yet I always still felt alone before I found my soul family. Like I, um, I've always been like a social butterfly and, and really um been easy to connect with people like that's something i know i'm very good at it's just like connecting with people on a deep level and an emotional level on a soul level and when i look back and have those moments of reflection of wow i really felt like i wasn't being understood by anyone i wasn't being seen or heard by anyone i always felt like i was the black sheep the lone wolf like just the only person in the pack pretty much like when I reflect and look back on why I was like that, it's because I wasn't understanding myself and I wasn't seeing myself. I wasn't um, hearing myself. Like I wasn't listening to my body. I wasn't listening to what my body was telling me that I needed. And of course, because I wasn't listening, I couldn't take action on that. <laughs> but that's okay. That was all part of the journey to be here now. And um, I also want to say that if you are watching this, you are part of my cell fam. Well, I should say that if you're watching this and you're resonating, resonating with me, then you are part of my cell fam. However, I have experienced that just because you don't resonate with someone right away, like you're absolutely like judging them or, or repulsed by them, 
they could be your soul fam too. And there's just something to let go within yourself um, so that you can be open to receive that connection. An example I have is that if you go to my older J, older J rolls, older videos with J roll, like to our very first one where we talk about how we first became partners, um, we're not partners anymore. But um, I talk about how when I first met J roll, I was so judgmental <laughs> because he was on his spiritual journey. I was on my spiritual journey, or I wasn't on my spiritual journey. And so I was judging that part of myself who thought that, you know, woo-woo stuff was weird and, and wasn't working and just like, it's just like out there. <laughs> Meanwhile, look where I am now. Um, so once I actually opened myself up to that and exploring that and understanding that about myself, that's when I was able to align with Jayla as partners and really understand the lessons that I had through our relationship because I really believe that soul fams are here to teach us lessons of unconditional love, like soulmates, soul soul, 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 soul brothers, soul siblings, whatever you want to call them. I've learned that they are really here to teach you lessons of unconditional love. Sometimes it's not pretty. Sometimes it's very, very, very uncomfortable. Like when me and j Roll separated, it was not pretty for me. And it was really hard. And I was very grateful for our separation because it really unearthed a lot of patterns within myself that were not unconditional love. Like I realized I was very controlling in the relationship, not intentionally, um, I was people pleasing. I was codependent. Like I was unearthing a lot of this after our separation because it allowed me to see myself and to be with myself again. And that's what's also beautiful about soul family. It's that you allow yourselves to be your whole individual self. Um, and when you come together, it's just two whole individual people coming together and expanding. And it doesn't always have to be like every single day, every week. Sometimes me and my soul fam, we talk like once a year, if even. Um, like me and Paris, uh, we would talk probably like once or twice a year. And it wasn't like we were planning to talk. It was more like we would run into each other synchronistically at some coffee shop. And then we'd just talk for hours. And then we'd go on our own ways and our own paths. And so that's why I also love creating and, um, you know, created the brand Create with Ro because I just love creating with my soul family and coming together with people who also are aligned with themselves um, and really understand themselves because that's something that takes a lot of hard work and practice to do. Like I recognize that doing the deep inner healing work to understand yourself, to see yourself, to hear yourself, to feel yourself it's not easy. <laughs> like when I started this journey of healing myself and really diving into why my mental health was declining, why my emotional health was declining, why I felt depressed and had thoughts of suicide. Like I, I, I did not know what I was going to get myself into, but it was so worth it because now here I am today. Um, four years later of like really focusing on myself and allowing myself to also heal my my blockage with my throat and like speaking my truth and speaking my experiences so that whoever is watching like you can get something out of this so that can help you on your journey too because I did not be like I wasn't able to go through my own journey without the people that I had without all the mentors that I had all the support that I had and really recognizing that we're here to help each other um, and that's why my focus in 2023 is to be of service and to help help my soul fam really just expand and grow and create together whether it's you're listening to this video or we're you know actually like creating on like art or something um you know making music um taking photos taking videos like whatever whatever it is we're all creating all the time and and i really want to have that intention to be that of service because honestly i used to focus on the money <laughs> and when i focused on the money that's when i allowed myself to 
get into the most debt I've ever had in my entire life. But that's for a story for another video. And so back on the topic of soul family, we're here to really help each other grow, help each other expand. And soul family comes into your life when you least expect it. Um, and also when you need it. So the first thing, well, I guess not the first thing, another note to, to, um, be mindful of when it comes to creating your soul family is to let go of any expectations and ask yourself, is the soul family I want to create in my life something that I am? So for example, my soul family loves to bridge science and spirituality. Like I love psychology. I love learning about the brain um, and also marrying the metaphysics with it. Like for example, in science, it's called your aura. Well, in spirituality, you have an aura, but in science, it's called electromagnetic field. Like I love putting those two together and just understanding that those two coexist and are the same thing, essentially. Um, I also love music. I love art. I love creating. I love being a creative, like creating videos, taking photos, um, painting, singing, sound healing. <laughs> and really attracting people who want to grow, want to heal, want to get to the root cause of whatever it is that they're figuring out and trying to understand. And not necessarily meaning that you have to get to the root cause every single time, but people who are mindful of that and aware of that are conscious of that. These are the people who I love to attract into my life. And, and I have been attracting these people into my life now because I am that. I am embodying what my soul fam is. And essentially I'm being my own soul fam, you know? <laughs> So when you put out there that you want to create a soul family and to attract your soul family, are you already being your soul family? Are you someone who wants to attract somebody who is communicative and healthily communicates? Um, are you someone who wants to be able to face uncomfortable situations with a ner er, regulated nervous system are you someone who loves to talk about all the conscious things like conscious sex and tantra and metaphysics and astrology is that you then if, you, if that's already you then you're already attracting your soul family like me <laughs> i love talking about all that stuff so when you allow yourself to let go judgment first and foremost and allow yourself to work on yourself then they just keep on coming another example that i have is that <laughs> i've been watching a lot of aaron Doughty's videos uh, Doughty's, i don't know how to say his last name but before when i first found about his channel i would not resonate with him at all like i would watch a video and be like nah and then now I'm like binge watching Aaron's videos because I feel like connection now because because I feel like I want to be of service and I want to put that focus of sharing my story, sharing what I've learned, sharing my lessons. I am attracted to watching Aaron's videos because that is him. Like that is what he does. That is what he embodies. And that's what I'm embodying now. So Shout out to Aaron. <laughs> um, and another thing too is your soul family doesn't necessarily have to be in the same city as you. Like when it comes to connecting with the soul, time and space doesn't matter. Uh, I have a lot of beautiful soul family in Las Vegas that I'm so grateful to have connected with. I don't live in Las Vegas anymore. If you don't know, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina now. So if you live in Charlotte, North Carolina, hit me up. Let's hang out come over to my space. And I've also met beautiful people online who live halfway across the globe, like in England. <laughs> and when you let go of the limiting belief of like wanting to find soul family in your city or, or just feeling like you can't find anyone in your soul family, just literally allowing yourself to be open to meeting them wherever, 
wherever they can be. And I'm really grateful to have met a lot of them actually through Web3 and Instagram. <laughs> Web3, if you know, like mainly on Twitter. So a lot of people I've met on Twitter, or my soul fam, a lot of people I've met on Instagram and have met in person. And I'm so excited to meet soul family in, pe- in person. Like that's, that's what I so, so love. It's just like, even though we have this connection that doesn't need to be physical, like when we come together physically, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so great. <laughs> Oh gosh. Anyways, I love to connect with people. That's also another thing that my soul family loves to do. Like I love to connect deeply, emotionally, and just really connect on a soul level, which is what soul family is all about. And again, not every person that you meet in your soul fam, you resonate with right away because there's some certain thing in you that needs to be unlocked or healed and that's okay. We come into each other's lives, maybe for a season, maybe for a day, a week, a month, a year, who knows? Or you might be with them for um, years. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to talk to each other every day, every week, but it's that willingness and that commitment to recognize each other, to recognize the importance of each other in your lives and then continuing to grow in that aspect in that way. And so I am very, very grateful for you for being part of my soul family, whether it's just watching this video right now, or if you want to binge watch all my videos and listen to my sound healing and meditations, I, either way, I'm grateful for you and your, again, your time and your energy and just allowing yourself to receive these messages and learning how to create a soul fam, because again, I used to be somebody who felt like nobody understood me. Nobody just got me. And once I got myself, understood myself, and really stepped deeper into my own authenticity and share that too with others, then yeah, that's that's pretty much how I was able to recognize that there are so many people out there who are part of my soul family. It's just, was I open to receive it? And was I already being that person that I was attracting? So I hope this helped. I, I, um, <laughs> I'm excited to create more videos and shoot more videos. And as of right now, I am in the process of gathering 13 people to tip $5 a month so that I can purchase the Adobe Creative Suite so I can continue editing videos every single month. Um, I have really been mindful about my finances lately and because I have dug a hole with my debt in 2022, I'm really taking a more balanced approach and, and figuring out ways of how I can bring the community and my soul fam together to help each other out. So. If you feel called to um, be a monthly tipper for $5, um, I'll have the link in the description box below. You can check that out because when you do that, um, or when you (laughs) are able to tip and have that contribution monthly, I'm able to continue creating videos of service so that you can also help your soul family out and learn more about all the things that I've experienced and learned from all of all of my experiences because I've gone through a lot. I got stories for days. I got a hundred. I got hundreds of YouTube video ideas and stories that I want to share with you. So if you want to help co-create these videos, link is below. And I am excited to just really go forth with creating consistently with the help of my soul fam, my community, and to really bring together people who want to make a change in this world and want to help humanity expand, expand consciousness, and to continue to rise together. (laughs) I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I hope this helped. I definitely feel like I have more to share about soul family, and I am just allowing myself to channel whatever it is that needed to be channeled through this video. And I'm sure I'm gonna create another video about soul family again with a more distinct and um, 
methodical approach. This was me more channeling whatever messages came through. So I appreciate you watching. And until next time, bye love. All the stuff that's happening in the world and when we grew up, just I feel like there's always just walls. There's just constant walls of like, oh, I don't want to get hurt again, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to build up a wall. Oh, yeah, I've been through that too. Oh, yeah, yeah no, <laughs> I have. I've been through thoughts of suicide. I've always almost tried to. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's stuff like that that really we need to become awakened. Yeah. Otherwise... <laughs> absolutely. I absolutely agree with that. I feel that we find the light in darkness. And there are some of us who, like, we need to like reach our, our lowest of lows in order to realize our power of choice.